From the beginning of time, humans have always been afraid of mysterious creatures that we cannot fully understand. Of all the mystical creatures, if we had to find one species that has caused the most terror for humanity, it would undoubtedly be the vampire. Not only is it a dominant figure in the horror genre, but at one time, vampires brought the worst nightmares to humans. The vampire is a creature that has been passed down in the legends of many folk cultures. It is described as a demonic species that exists by drinking the fresh blood of living creatures. The term, vampire, is believed to have originated in the 18th century in Western Europe. Although the name came later, the concept of the vampire has existed for many millennia. The cultures of the Chinese in Thai, ancient Greece and Rome, all have stories of demons and souls that are considered the ancestors of modern vampires. The fear of vampires exploded around the 18th century in Europe, and the vampire image today originates from that time. In Europe, where the legend of the vampire was most prevalent, this creature was often described as having a healthy appearance due to drinking fresh blood. Vampires were initially thought to be corpses rising from their coffins. Therefore, people came up with many ways to prevent this such as burying the corpse upside down, or placing a sickle on the corpse to prevent it from coming back to life. If you had to confront a vampire, you might want to bring some holy items such as garlic, a crucifix, a rosary, holy water, or a stake as these are believed to be able to fight this monster. Also, vampires cannot walk on sacred ground, cannot cross running water, and especially will be burned by sunlight. The most common way to kill a vampire is to use a stake to pierce its heart. In addition, some believe that vampires can be killed by sprinkling holy water on them or stuffing garlic into their mouths. During its development, the image of the vampire was heavily influenced by a real historical figure, Vlad Dracula, he was the Prince of Wallachia and lived in the 15th century. He was regarded as a hero of the Romanians for driving the Ottoman army out of their territory. However, Vlad Dracula was also infamous for being a very insane and cruel ruler. The name, Impaler, comes from a legend told by the Germans that Vlad Dracula had a macabre hobby of impaling people on stakes. From enemies to innocent people, no one could escape being killed on sharp stakes of this cruel ruler. So what does he have to do with the legend of the vampire? In some of his letters, Vlad signed his name as Dracula, confirming the existence of this name. Vlad Dracula was the inspiration for the writer Bram Stoker to write the novel, Dracula, in 1897. This is considered one of the most important works in shaping the image of the vampire that we still know today. This novel is an epic tale about a vampire living under the guise of Count Dracula in Transylvania. This vampire was later destroyed by Abraham Van Helsing's hands. After its publication, Dracula was well received by a large number of readers due to Bram Stoker's unique and terrifying writing style. Later, this work became one of the most famous works of English literature, as well as one of the icons of horror literature. This work has been adapted many times into famous movies or plays. Along with that, the images appearing in the work gradually entered into popular culture. Among them, Count Dracula became the archetype for vampires. While the character Abraham Van Helsing became an iconic figure for vampire hunters. The image of a vampire with sharp fangs, afraid of sunlight, and wearing a standing collar black coat. Is originated from Bram Stoker's Dracula. A real-life historical figure who is believed to have inspired the creation of the vampire image is Countess Elizabeth Batory, who lived in the 16th or 17th century. She was a Hungarian noblewoman who was accused of killing numerous people, along with four servants, and was charged with torturing and murdering hundreds of young girls and women between 1590 and 1610. Her servants were brought to trial, while Batory was imprisoned in her own home. Legend has it that Batori would bathe in the blood of virgins to maintain her youth, hence she is also known as the Countess Dracula. Elizabeth Batori was the inspiration for Sheridan Le Fanu's novel, Carmilla, in 1872, which is often considered the female version of Dracula. One of the creatures often mistaken for a vampire is the Chupacabra, another legendary creature in the folklore of the region. The name Chupacabra means goat-sucking monster, 
as they often attack and drink the blood of livestock, especially goats. However, they are also believed to be able to attack humans. There are many different opinions about the shape of this creature. But they are often described as a creature the size of a small bear, with a long spine from head to tail. There have been many reported sightings of chupacabras in the Brutorical region since the 1970s. This is one of the most famous legends in this area. In addition to chupacabras, another creature believed to have influenced the creation of the vampire image is the bat. As we know, bats are often associated with the appearance of vampires, with sharp fangs and a wide cloak like their wings. This is the characteristic of bats. In Latin America, there are some bat species called vampire bats. As they often drink the blood of livestock and leave fang marks on the victim's neck. Many people believe that the bite marks of these bats were mistaken for the product of the mythical vampire. There was a time when vampires spread fear throughout Europe, leading to humans accusing and executing those they believed were demons disguised as humans. The bodies of these people were often impaled on stakes or weighed down with heavy objects in their mouths to prevent them from rising from their graves. In 2006, the skeleton of a woman with a brick stuffed in her mouth was found in a mass grave from the 16th century near Venice. In Bulgaria, a mass grave was also discovered, containing over 100 sets of bones with metal objects such as plowshares attached to the bodies. Most recently, public opinion was stirred up when archaeologists discovered the skeleton of a woman believed to be a vampire in Poland. A hatchet was placed right above the neck of this skeleton, and a lock was attached to the left foot. Professor Dariusz Polinski from the Nicholas Copernicus University, explained that the hatchet was placed on the victim's neck to sever the head of the living dead if it were to rise. Nowadays, researchers have found many ways to explain the myth of vampires. Some agree that during the time when science was not yet advanced, people could not explain many phenomena in the process of corpse decay. This includes the swelling of the body due to gas in the body. Therefore, they believed that it was the result of the corpse rising from the dead and sucking human blood. There are also opinions that vampires are actually people with rabies, a disease that changes the body and behavior of the victim. This disease is transmitted from some species closely related to vampires such as bats and wolves. In popular culture today, vampires deserve to be the rulers of the horror genre. As works featuring them appear frequently in all forms of literature, music, and film. One study found that besides Sherlock Holmes, Dracula is the character that appears in the lead role in many television shows. Some famous vampire films include Dracula in 1931, Van Helsing in 2004, and The Twilight Saga in 2008. Vampires have instilled fear in humans for many decades. To this day, there is too little evidence to prove the existence of this mysterious creature. Vampires may just be the product of human imagination, but they deserve to be one of the worst nightmares that humans have ever faced. That's the end of today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe to support me. Goodbye and see you in the next video.